Now, man, we're going to touch down real quick on this 1090 J situation. He, we know his current contents revolved around him exposing individuals for snitching, interrogations, paperwork, so on and so forth, right? But now we see him being exposed. Now, I made a video a while back. He was covering his ass when it comes to him calling the cops on a couple individuals. Supposedly, they shot up his career, right? Now, he claims he made it all up. This happened a few months back. But to me, this is the primary aspect that everybody's overlooking. This new shit in regards to him writing a grievance against CEOs where he was busted to try to get out of some possible repercussions or whatever. You know, there's different politics and different facilities in different states, so on and so forth. Man, that that's, to me, that's technically debatable, right? The one aspect that's not debatable, and it's the craziest thing that many aren't acknowledging, I understand that a lot of this didn't really go viral when he was being exposed for this in particular, but these individuals, all right, this is his story, right? I covered this before, but this is the primary aspect, man. This is what everybody should be focusing on right here, though. And uh, I'm going to touch down on the fact that, you know, he's covering all this shit, doing this exposing of the snitches, but he's got these things in his background. I'm going to touch down on that in a little bit, you know what I mean? Because it's hypocritical, right? But real quick i want to cover this the man literally because a lot of individuals i try to tell him hey man what about the shooting you know that's crazy that's what a lot of individuals aren't focusing on and to me that's the the largest component of all this you know snitching or controversy and hypocrisy when it comes to 1090 right so he got his crib shot up right he claims he made this, he fabricated this entire story to cover his own ass right but supposedly he got his crib shot up by a couple youngsters now he called the cops, said, hey, man, this and that, whoa, whoa, whoa. they shot up my crib. I can't really identify him. I've never seen him before, but there were a couple youngsters. I think he even mentioned what they were wearing, so on and so forth. And then um, when somebody pulled up that paperwork and said, hey, bro, there's some paperwork saying that, you know, you got your crib shot at and you called the cops on these youngsters. He says, oh, no, I made it all up. I, I fabricated the every everything on me because I had to get into my crib. I locked myself out and I had to get into my crib and. He said he had to shoot a hole in his window or wall. I mean, I could have sworn he said wall, which was even more ludicrous to me, man. Shooting a hole tediously in a wall with a BB gun and then having to call the cops of fabricated story to cover your ass. Nobody gains entrance or access to a pad by shooting a hole in the wall with a BB gun. All right, but let's theoretically say it was the window, which is slightly less ludicrous. Still ludicrous, irregardless. Who the hell shoots a window out with their BB gun to gain access? Man, you can just break that thing, bro. Why are you going to pull something out that looks like a firearm knowing someone might, you know what I mean? Like, man, you got to spark plug that thing. You got to get a little bit of porcelain or something. I mean, you know, why the hell would you sit there and shoot? Ah, man, that's just, it didn't even add up, dog. I had to shoot my own window out with a BB gun because I locked myself. I mean, that's obviously, to me, a cover story, huh? because a couple individuals shot your shit up, whether, regardless of whether it was real straps or with some, some BB guns, and you got rattled, homie. I don't know what kind of mindset you was in. You called the cops, dog. That's that's what I got from it. It's all out there. Uh, even Milk74 put his ass on blast when it comes to this shit, bro. So, anyways... It's it, to me, it's self-explanatory. That's that's the primary meat of the story, bro. Like, come on, man. You ran into static with some dudes, you know what I'm saying? And you got shook, you know, because there was another aspect of that report that came out. He claimed uh, I made it all up. Nobody got busted. And then the other aspect of the report said, nah, two youngsters in this exact area with the description you gave so on and so forth based on that report did end up getting busted. <laughs> you know, What's going on, dog? But in the digital circus, there's a lot of uh, distractions and different controversy pops up. And then certain topics go viral and do a lot more views than the other. So, you know, the priorities aren't always prioritized, I mean, especially on the Internet. Dog. It's just a it's a product of our society and our society's a circus with no punchline, basically. <laughs> That's just crazy. But um, with 1090 Jake, man, OK, a lot of these individuals, you would think. If your entire uh, platform is going to revolve around exposing fools and claiming to be this and that in, in the facility, homie, so on and so forth, right? You transition into exposing fools based on their paperwork. You know, that's your specialty. That's your go-to. You know, um, you would think that you would make sure that your, your jacket was crystal clean. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing nobody could bring up. You know, nobody doing time on something you said. Nobody that got any formal charges, you know, pressed on a, based on something you said. You know what I mean? Not naming names when you're busted. Now, uh, yeah, you know, that's the controversial aspect in my eyes. You know what I mean? 
uh, a lot of this when individuals are exposing or dissing or doing this and that, uh, usually it's a deflection tactic a lot of times. Um, I made some videos in the past explaining why I thought rats were selfish because, and I, why I thought it was a damaging cycle because they're basically f perpetuated. I mean, that, that problematic aspect is perpetuated. They don't face repercussions. They're allowed to hang out, you know, with as much dope as they want to have on them, homie, poison in the community, so on and so forth, dog. They get popped, homie, it's overlooked because they're a confidential informant, so on and so forth. I've heard they're even given dope, you know what I mean, in certain areas, homie. They'll, they'll get, you know, they get into the, uh, what is it, you know, homie, the evidence. Bam, get a bag of dope, give it to their informant. Cause he ain't got no drive or whatever himself or whatever it is. I mean, they got to keep fueling that cycle. I mean, to get these stripes and get them busts. But in the meantime, they're allowing an individual to poison the community. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is, dog. The individual don't learn from his behavior because he's being rewarded for it. He's not facing a necessary level of repercussions for it. You know what I'm saying? He's getting, you know, a get out of jail free card, homie. So. It is, that's why it's most the most damaging cycle, homie. You know what I mean? It is what it is, bro. But you know, nobody's going to evolve based on being a rat and getting away with their bullshit. And that's what I mean by that. You know, in my eyes, it should be self-explanatory. I was also betrayed by a couple individuals, you know, I considered some of my best friends who testified against me. You know what I mean? So for a while, I was like, hey, man, all rats, woo, 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 did woo, woo, you know what I'm saying? But now I understand it kind of, it's an inevitable byproduct of the game, dog. You know, people are not what or who they claim. They don't even know who they are, bro, themselves. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to be patient and understanding. I'm not being, everybody's a goofy-ass lame. They ain't real steppers. Homie, woo, 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 ain't on shit. Rah, rah, rah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that, dog. What I'm, I'm trying to clarify is... A lot of individuals are lost themselves or relying upon substances, pills, whatever it may be, dope, liquor, to uh, give themselves a false amount of like bravado and confidence. And a lot of times, homie, you know, it's expressed in the wrong fashion, homie. It's not channeled in the right direction, of course. You know what I mean? And I think that goes for majority of people, man. Um, majority of people feel like they have to put on this facade to protect themselves. And it, it, there's a big difference between trying to master a facade or an illusion that you're projecting, right? You know what I mean? Trying to act tough, in other words, in comparison with actually being capable. So instead of learning and training and uh, finding themselves to be more formidable and capable, a lot of times people basically invest a lot of their time and energy in specializing in the act. You know, as long as I look like this, as long as I, woo, 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 wah, 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 I'm big, wah, wah, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's going to protect me. You know what I mean? Like, Nah, bro, like, in all reality, eventually, homie, you're gonna have to, like, put your money where your mouth is, dog, so you're better off just lowering your testosterone, your disposition a bit, not putting that, ooh, 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 this protects me, this falsified, or, you know, irregard this defensive posture, you know what I'm saying, and just try to strengthen your knowledge and wisdom, homie, and broaden your horizons when it comes to the multitude of aspects when it's self-defense, I mean, you know what I'm saying, from MMA to two-way, you know, I'm gonna leave it at that. The ones it'll register with, it'll already be registering with. You know what I mean? The individual is going to go over their heads on me with the majority. Yeah, that's going to be the case. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. The ones that can, you know, evolve alongside each other, homie. The ones that, you know, believe in this shit, homie, we're going to do it. You know what I mean? We're going to evolve. Uh, we're not going to disregard something just because it makes us uncomfortable. Um, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But that's that's one thing that, you know, you've, you've heard me in videos. The false bravado, woo, woo, woo. It is what it is. Be formidable and be capable. I feel like 1090 Jake falls right into this category. Now, a lot of individuals were getting on Pino's ass because he, you know, the brass knuckles or whatever when he slid on 1090. It's all out there. Whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? And, and people, both parties already acknowledge what happened. So it's not like I'm divulging anything. But I wanted to go ahead and clarify. A lot of people were getting on Pino's ass for that. And shit, dog, you better be ready. If somebody's going to slide and they're like, hey, I'm going to get on that ass. You know what I'm saying? You better have, you look, dog. I mean, I'm not going to expect them to come with a fair fight. I'm not rationalizing it. But what I am saying is uh, if 1090 was truly versatile and formidable, you know what I mean? I don't think it would have went down like that, homie. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it is what it is, bro. But he wasn't prepared. He had no wingman or anybody watching his back with nothing. You know, what if Pino came with a couple dudes? You know what I mean? What if they decided to get all excited like a lot of dudes do when some shit's going down and they jump in? You know, your ass would have got stomped out and possibly killed, homie, because you're just standing out there, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be present in reality. You know, that coincides with this bullshit about him being exposed. You know? How are you going to make the meat of your content revolve around 
primarily around exposing individuals when you're not only written a statement and that's the most recent news we know the allegation uh you know what i mean the hypocrisy the exposure of 1090 jake it currently is revolving around him writing that statement to the correctional officer if you're not aware of that he basically just said you know, hey, would somebody attack me? He named a name, this and that, right? But it, like I said before, in certain facilities in different geographic areas, politics are different, dog. If you're trying to get out of trouble and you're not really like, you know, full-fledged, full taking a stand, dog, some individuals or some um, auditors will look past that, right? Um, but over here in California, dog, you can't name names. And, you know, I mean, I stand by that personally. I heard that full G-Face say that the homies would be all right with that. And from my experience... If you write any type of paperwork naming somebody's name and that other individual is trying to defend themselves and trying to beat that same, it doesn't matter if it's a case or a disciplinary action. You know what I mean? If you're jeopardizing his defense based on naming him, I don't. I know a lot of homies that aren't going to like that, fool. And that it is what it is, dog. I mean, psh, it, <laughs> that's, that's the truth in my eyes. You feel me? But um, anyways, let me know what you think of the situation. What you think about 1090 Jake, uh, specializing, exposing everybody, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Uh, what you think about uh, people trying to rationalize the writing and, you know, naming names at the CO. But most importantly, dog, if you're not already aware, look into that story or the, the police report in the details. Even Milk 74 covered it. You go look it up on, on Milk 74. Uh, he's covered it. When it comes to him ratting, so on and so forth. Um, there's a secondary aspect to that paperwork that came out, though, after him calling and then him covering his ass and saying, I fabricated all that. Nobody, uh, nah, man, I made that all up. I didn't really call the police on anybody. They don't really exist, right, is what he said. But there's a secondary aspect to that paperwork clarifying that two youngsters were busted in this area. So I don't know exactly where to locate that on this digital circus plane, right? Uh, let me know if you come across it, but I've seen it. You know what I mean? It is what it is. To me, it's the primary focal point of, you know, come on, man. Technically, you know, you can try to evade or we'll rationalize some shit, dog. But when it's something like getting into it with individuals and calling the cops and reporting it, you know what I mean? As a stepper, dog, if you're not safe where you at and you can't handle the static coming your way, you got to dip. <laughs> you don't have the option of calling an invincible army to defend you. You know, this is self-explanatory, right? Hit that, I'm, I'm getting gray hairs already. Hit that notification button though. You know this stuff drives me senile. I'm trying my best with it. With all the fake tough guy acts and bullshit and the lack of actual genuine capability and evolution where it matters, the rationalizing of the most incredulous bullshit in our society instead of simply having a base level respect for something that's irrefutable and essential. You know what I mean? Those aren't just Charles Dickens articulation vocabulary words, bro. That's me speaking from the heart. And for the haters, dog, yes, there are people that it registers with. You know what I'm saying? Might take a little bit of time to digest it yourself. Hit that notification button though because you already know how I'm rocking. I'm still above potting soil despite all odds.